Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we are looking at Transit. It is an effects plugin by Baby Audio that focuses on transitions, transient effect motions. Uh, a little bit different, it can do totally static stuff too, like it comes with a whole suite of effects, but let's really quick just see it in action a little bit, and then I'm gonna show you how you can use it real quick to spice up an otherwise uh, very samey kind of a line uh, with something that I would usually use just an unknown amount of automation clips to do. So here we have this baseline, and we have transit right here at the beginning. It's just an intro just to show you, and then it's the same baseline over and over. So, you know, we're grooving, some cool stuff's happening, and there's this cool intro at the beginning, and that's transit. So before we dive into like some of the details, I'm not gonna cover everything from head to toe. There'll be plenty of videos that go over stuff like that. Uh, instead, I wanna focus on just using it, because you don't need to know a whole lot to use it effectively. One of the great things that comes with transit is it's got a great selection of presets. So here we've got this baseline. It's doing the same thing over and over. It's gonna sound great at first, but after the fourth time, you know, we need a little bit of a change. Uh, there's a couple different transitions that are, you could think of. You've got like the reverb where you get this like wiped out, washed effect coming into a, a clarity. The reverb goes away. Uh, there's pitch shift effects. Uh, there's an oscillator module that can do that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's just grab it and it's actually been really well done. This is a transit that I'm using for something else and this is the intro transit I'm using right here. So let's grab another. And let's name it like, you know, we'll call it the experiment, EXP, experimental transit. And by default, we're, we're given this chain. And if you ever wanna go to the default chain, I kept right clicking up here when I first got this and it confused me. Uh, it's over here, it's this erase chain. And you click it twice, you have to confirm it and it will, it'll clear everything. So if you wanna start from scratch, that's how you do it. Uh, but we're not interested in that. In, in fact, let's just go in here real quick and see there's some very, you know, famous artists in here that have created some presets for us to use. And there's a lot of really, really good ones. So when it comes to these kinds of things, for this particular baseline, I figure some variation and distortion would be kind of cool. And let's just start off with a preset. There's one in here I really like called Scorpion. And so if we click on Scorpion and then go ahead and close this. So by default, it's off. And as we move this knob, it'll move all of these things for us. And what's great about this is it takes away the need to have a ton of automation clips doing this for you. Instead, you can just be hooked up to this macro just out the gate. So to give you a sense of what this sounds like here, let's just bring it in and out. Yeah, and they've got stuff in here that is like must-haves for this kind of intense stuff. Like the, there's an OTT built right in probably one of my most grabbed modules. Uh, the distortions sound great. There's a lot of really great stuff in here. If you wanna see all of them, here they are. This, these are all the effects. I don't intend to go over all these because it, it just turned into this really long tutorial. Uh, but let's go ahead and grab this and just show you how easy it is. So we will make a selection here and let's grab the browse parameters. And different DAWs, this is different. I don't know how your DAW does it, but this is how FL does it. So now we have here a transition control, and I figure for the first two, it's gonna sound pretty novel. Maybe we have some sort of a build up to this, and we have it maybe just sort of rise up a little more suddenly at the end here, and then drop down to a different level, but we keep the effect on partially. And this is going to move all of these things for us so it's like we can have our chain here, the effect, we could use these you know, individually if we wanted to, to do mixing with them and things like that. Uh, but we can have these really dynamic thoughts sort of just in a single preset. So here we go. In fact, I'm already thinking like maybe just to spice it up a little bit, maybe we add some in like right here. And 
And there you go. You get these really cool, just subtle things. And you know, it's actually a pretty complicated thought. All these things are moving around. And if you're new and the effects are new and you're looking for cool ways to use them, but you're not sure, a preset's a really great place to start. Um, so let's go ahead, let's make one ourselves. So let's, let's also give this a little bit more specific of a name. We'll call this like our distortion transit. That way we know uh, what it's doing. I'm not sure how this works in other DAWs, but I like to rename my stuff. You just shift click and it'll do it. Uh, let's add another. And this time let's go for sort of a, a reverb wiped out kind of a thing. I really like this, these like subtle things here. So let's grab another transit. And let's go ahead and while we're at it, let's also just lose the browser here if we don't need it. Uh, let's go and clear the selection and confirm. And let's grab a bit crusher and we'll enable the motion. So any control that can be affected with the motion has a dot. And you, when you hover over it, you'll see like what it goes to. So we'll grab the dot and the way it works is there's like a little white arrow that points to like a line, a white line on one end. The dot's gonna go from the arrow in the direction it's pointing to the line. So as we move this giant macro, the transition control, it will, you know, you can see that the black dot moves to that line. Starts at the arrow, goes to the line. That's basically how it works. If we drag the line to the other side and you just drag up down to do this, uh, it will now be over here and it will go down to this. So this line, so it'll go the it'll go the other way. Now the dots heading the, the other direction. So it's very very visual. Uh, that's pretty nice. I figure maybe we have some down sampling. And remember, you can think of it as the arrow is where the dots gonna start. So that's when this knob is at like zero, and then the line is where it's gonna be when it's at hundred. Ideally, like a really crazy setting, right? So what I like to do usually is have the transition control on all the way pick a very crazy setting that I'm gonna reach at some point. And now I've got the most extreme setting in and then it will just dial back on its own. So for example, here we've got it. Let's just hear it. And downsampling, downsampling in particular, let's turn on the motion. Um, downsampling in particular is pretty interesting because as it happens, there's all this like aliasing and stuff that goes on. It sounds pretty cool. While we're here, let's grab, you know, a filter just sounds like it would pair nicely with this. And we'll have the cutoff. Um, actually, this already has it. While, while we're here, if maybe I don't have a complete idea, I already kind of have something I want to do. But let's say you're just kind of looking, you know, want, you know, you want some sort of a filter. There's a randomize button here and you can click that. It will, it'll randomize it. So here we've got a high pass. That's gonna be kind of cool. And let's turn the motion on for the cutoff so that it's moving. And is this the direction we want it to go? The high pass will start. We want the high pass to start low and to end high because that's when the most of it's gonna be removed. And we'll probably have it go up to like 5K. I feel like that would be kind of intense. We'll bring the mix up a little bit more. We'll leave the mix off. We don't want this to move with the motion. We'll leave that static. Ooh, yeah. Now, while we're here in the middle, let's do something. So yeah, you can move them by clicking this. And by the way, these do have presets. If you click on the little uh, hamburger menu, there's presets in here and you can save them. And you know, so if you have a particular setting you like, you can save that. So let's grab another one. Um, I really like this filter move. Something I like to stick in the middle of things is maybe give this filter a little bit more to work with. So we might go with a distortion. Oops, I'm scrolling over something I ought not be scrolling. Uh, so maybe, for example, we go for a distortion or um, an OTT, in fact, might be a little bit better of a decision here. So let's go for an OTT. I'm not interested in adding too much more. I just want to bring out what's already there. Uh, let's just give this a big old friggin' boost in the middle and we can adjust levels after. So again, we'll set this up. So while we're here, this is a little bit more nuancy, but I kind of want to tackle a little bit of a gain problem that's going to happen. So you hear how it gets like way softer because we've got this filter and things going on. So that's going to be just make it sound softer. Uh, we could turn on the motion for the gain 
and use this as a way to just do some gain compensation. So we'll take this and we will make it so that it starts over here and it ends with like, I don't know, let's try like 9, 10 dB of gain. And now we have a more consistent gain motion the whole way through. So this is a pretty cool effect, honestly, just these three things, pretty dope. Um, if we wanted to, we could add in a reverb and do some things like that. But let's let's just stick with these for now. One, oh, you know, one more, one more. It's kind of addicting to add more and more as you go. Um, let's add in the spread. Spread's one of my favorites. Let's not automate this one that, or have it be controlled by the transit and just, um, and just set it up real quick. <laughs> something like that and maybe an auto panner now auto panner is going to be just a little too much i think the auto panner will be just a, a tad too much i think this is nice i think we're at a nice a nice uh setting here so now let's do by the way there's a dark mode uh which i really like i tend to use the white one just because when i open it it's white so let's go for a browse parameters and grab this here transition control and let's have this do things when this other one isn't doing things. So we'll grab this, uh, bring this on down over here, and we'll bring this here up and bring it on down. And again, you'd want to be listening to it. You know, we could get really nuancy with this. Um, maybe we have a small taste of it at the beginning. That'd be kind of kind of nice. Okay, that's like maybe a little too much. Let's bring it down some here. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's have this be a sudden thing and let's have it like not go so crazy. So you see, we've got we've got options now. We've got all these flavors we can play with and it's it's the same input. We can just immediately sort of give it more life. The OTT is really doing work here. Uh, compensating for what this filter is doing. So I really like that. So now let's make a little bit crazier of a transition, something that's gonna really move us into another area. I have here this string section right here. You know, I'm gonna do some big tonal shift and you know, something awesome is gonna happen, right? That's, that's what I'm thinking. So let's go over to our mix. We might even put this on the master just to be a little extra, I don't know. We'll, we'll stay with the bass mix for now. And let's add a washed out one. So we'll add a transit. And this one, there's a lot of great presets that do this. Um, I'll call this like re a reverb one. That'll that'll give me the message. I don't know what that means. So let's look through here. There's already some in here like echo swirl. These are these are ones that anything that says reverb kind of says, you know, we're gonna go into space. So look, these are called space. I haven't checked these ones out. What are these? <laughs> And let's also not have this like maxed out there and let's have this one turn off over time. There you go, the space is exactly what it says. And it appears like we have a couple options here. Let's try the 201. Ooh, you know, that might be better for us. Here's 224. I gotta say the Andrew Huang ones, the presets just knock it out of the park. He's, there's so many in here now too. It's friggin' awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I like the 201 the most, so let's go with that one. And this is meant to just be like, you know, washed out, sort of reverbed out kind of a thing. Uh, there's a couple flavors um, that you, when you're looking at doing stuff like this, there's these tonal ones that sort of add interest at moments. Then you have the big transitional stuff, typically like pitch, uh, things, things that have like pitch shifts. Uh, there's an oscillator unit in here, those kinds of things. And then you've got, and somewhere in the middle lives the reverbed out ones, the time-based effect ones that serve to make things blurry and less clear and add this sense of like space around you. So uh, when I, when I think of transitions, I tend to think in those sorts of categories. I'm sure there are others, uh, but those are some of the big ones. Let's grab a, let's grab the browse parameters, move this around. We will automate it. And we're just gonna have this turn on here slowly. I'm not sure if this could be too much. Maybe we 
maybe we nuance it a little bit, a little bit more aggressive at the end here. <laughs> Now this one, I want it to stay on for a while and, and then turn off later. And I recommend you always put these, these end points down because later on in the track, you're going to forget that you had this up and you'll be like, why the heck does it sound all reverbed out? And it's because you forgot to automate it down. That's pretty nice. Now we have some, some big transition. Let's put this up a little bit sooner maybe right here and let's have it just be a little more sudden just so that we have a really tight four bars that we can look at doing for now to save us on some some listening okay so here you go here's just a couple transits we've got three of them one of them was customized the other were based on presets and you can see it's as easy as adding and adding an automation clip so here we go oh okay before we go anywhere Let's also add zero point controls at the front uh, just to make sure that we are on the same page here. This is another FL specific thing. This isn't, this isn't transit, this is just FL, being FL. It sounds like the space preset also needs a zero at the front. And there you go. We took a line. This is a lot more dynamic now. I could mess with several more flavors of these distortions easily they are they're just way too much fun to mess with and they make the line so much more interesting if you have any questions about this feel free to let me know subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day